The wild relatives of our domesticated crops can be found all over the world. From the top of a mountain to a dry desert plain. These crop wild relatives can withstand harsh environmental changes and through breeding can make our crops more resilient. Scientists from the Royal Botanic Gardens Kew travelled to the Middle East to explore the history and the future application of some of these venerable ancestors. We are here in North Israel. Just behind me is the Sea of Galilee and the Golan Heights with the border to Syria. This is a very interesting piece of land. On a few square meters, several crop wild relatives growing together. The Fertile Crescent is one of the cradles of modern agriculture. Here I have Hordium bulbosum, a perennial crop wild relative of our barley, which was first domesticated about 5,000 years ago. The gem in the crown, a progenitor of one of the first wheat crop species that was domesticated, the emma wheat, the Latin name is Triticum diococoides, which is known from archaeological sites 15,000 years ago. This was rediscovered about 100 years ago, just over there on the hilltop. And here we have a third crop wild relative, which is an oat relative, Avena sterilis, which grows everywhere here. Crop wild relatives have helped to strengthen crops against pests and diseases, improve yields, and improve tolerance to stresses such as drought and increases in temperature. This is a truly wild pear, which is called the Pyrus syriaca. As you can see, the plant looks miserable, and this is because it is attacked by uh, an insect which is called Psylla. Uh, we have other plants in this collection which are resistant to this uh, Psylla. Here we initiated an experiment where we used the, the resistant Psylla plants, we used them as rootstocks and grafted on them plants that were sensitive to the Psylla and we noticed that the grafts became uh, resistant to the Psylla. This wild oregano has got a very high content of essential oils which make this plant so attractive for us humans. And actually it is one of the most important spices in the Middle East. Grazing animals though, sheep, goats, they don't like this plant. This is an area that has been grazed for millennia and this plant still grows here. So these essential oils are a very effective protection against grazing. This plant here is Solanum incanum in the nightshade family, a crop wild relative of our aubergine. It is widely distributed in North Africa and the Middle East to India and one assumes that from this very plant our aubergine was domesticated in ancient India. It is very well protected against grazing. The plant is armed with thorns. The plant contains alkaloid, toxic metabolites, that make it non-edible. So here I have the fruit of this Solanum incanum, of the bitter apple. It's quite difficult to get through, but yes, I mean, tomato and this Solanum incanum, they're in the same family. But I wouldn't recommend eating it, it's highly toxic. 80% of our calorie intake comes from just 12 plant species. 50% of our calories come from just wheat, maize and rice. Adapting agriculture to climate change is one of the most urgent challenges of our time. We cannot rely on a narrow group of food crops for our future food security. Resilience is found in diversity. Crop wild relatives are already being used to make improvements to our food crops, but they are underutilised and under threat of extinction. Protecting the wild relatives of our major crops will help us to adapt and survive.